Hi everybody, it's Jessica, the Dollhouse Curator, and welcome back to the Curated Dollhouse. So today I am going to be talking you through some of the rest of the items that I ordered from Tim Yu, T-E-M-U site, because I've been hearing about it and I wanted to see the quality and the pricing and kind of all what they had to offer for myself. So I said in my last video that I had made four orders and I had got one in that when I did my last video and over the last couple of days, I've gotten in the rest. So I got some in yesterday and I got the rest in today and y'all, I have been pleasant surprised with the quality of the stuff that I've received and I tried to order a variety of items so I've got myself some um, clothes I got a lot of costume jewelry I got a lot of doll clothes and then I got a lot of miniatures for the dollhouse I have been pleasantly surprised with the quality of what I've gotten for the price so before I get started on the Tim Yu, there was one thing that I really um, had to have for my birthday. I seen it online and as soon as I seen it, I went straight to Amazon to put in an order for it and I got the pre-order. So I have been hoping that this was going to come in by my birthday and I got it yesterday. So I am so excited y'all. This is Fashionista 212. So I ordered him online through the pre-order and I think he was released April 15th per what I saw on Amazon and I got him yesterday. I've already redressed him because I've gotten in all of this amazing Tim Yu clothes. So I am super excited. I think he is gorgeous, y'all. I really do. As soon as I seen this doll, this is the first can ever that I was like, I have to have that doll. And I love the entire doll. So he also comes with the prosthetic limb, as you can see. And he's got this big toothy smile. But I love him from head to toe. So I am not 100% sure that I want to rebody this doll. So I say that I'm not 100% sure. I do want to rebody him, but I don't really want to lose the prosthetic leg. So I have an idea kind of flowing around in my head that I think may work. But I'm, I'm not going to say anything because if it doesn't work, then uh, uh, there's no use in bringing it up. But because I wasn't 100% sure, I did go ahead and get a doll also that should be a good skin tone match for him in a made to move body. And before I show you that, where can I put him? We'll just hold him right here. We'll hold him like this so you can see the full thing. Um, I do want to give a shout out to one of my favorite YouTube channels. Her name is Faith Eileen. It's E-L-E-N-E. -E -E. And I love her channel. She goes through when she gets all of the fashionistas and she kind of gives you her, you know, um, opinion on them. But one of my favorite things that she does, and it has saved me so much money, y'all, is that she will do a skin tone comparison. So whenever there's new fashionistas comes out, she pulls out her made to move bodies and she does a skin tone comparison. So you can kind of see if they can be rebodied or if there's a close skin tone match. And even though this doll is new, she has not done a video on this new wave of fashionistas yet, but I do know that she probably will. But because I watch her channel pretty consistently for that kind of information, I found a doll that did actually have a great skin tone match for this doll to 12. And the doll that I found that had this great skin tone match is the BMR 1959 doll with the green hair. So I originally passed over all of the BMR dolls. They just kind of didn't, I just passed them over. They, they weren't that interesting to me. But in getting this doll and in thinking that this would be a great skin tone match, I went ahead and ordered him. And y'all, now that I have the doll in my hand, like he's kind of growing on me. I have done just a little bit of preliminary makeover on this doll so far, but I'm not going to lie. He is growing on me. So he will be a body donor for this doll. And then I will keep this fashionista body so that I can use the prosthetic leg when I want to. And then he will have a made to move body. But I also have another idea again that I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to give it away in case it doesn't work. But these are the two things that I got, the two dolls that I ordered for my birthday. So him because I just really wanted him for my birthday. And then I ordered this one because I thought he would be a great skin tone match, which he is, as y'all can see, like it is very 
very close. I know a lot of people like to look at the arms against the face, but it is very, very close. So it will be great for a good match. So I'm going to put this back off to the side. And then I'm going to talk through this outfit. So this is one of the Tim U sweatsuits that I got. I wound up getting three of these. So I got two in um, white, which one of them I'll show you the white hoodie here in a minute. But I got two in white. It came with the Barbie and the Ken. And then this green one is actually a Barbie size. But because Fashionista 212 had on these neon green tennis shoes, I thought it worked really good and it is a little tight because of the prosthetic over here, but I think it works pretty decent. I love the hoodie. They actually do have working drawstrings. So hold on, let me pull it correctly. If I can get it to pull correctly, really. So it does have a working drawstring. So you can kind of see it got a little tight right there and then you can pull it out. They fit really good. The Velcro seems really nice. And I just, I was impressed with the quality of the sweatsuits that came in that I received. So I will show you the hoodie on the other one. So I got the white set in the Barbie and the can. So this is the Barbie hoodie, same thing. The drawstrings do work. The only thing with this is that you do have the Velcro all the way up the back, but the hood itself does not have an opening. So you just put the doll's head in and then you can Velcro it around. But I think these hoodies are a good size. And then I also got another Barbie and Ken set that came with a black shirt and then these camo pants because y'all know camo is my favorite color. So these are actually the Ken pants because the Barbie pants were just a little off and I couldn't get them on completely. I'm sure I, it'll be an easy fix um, with a, take a stitch or two out and, you know, put a stitch or two back in. But I went ahead and just put her in the can pants and I think it turned out really good. But super impressed with the quality of the hoodie set and the jump, uh, the, the hoodie set of the hoodies and the sweatpants set. So that was really nice. The next thing I'm gonna show you is some additional clothes that I received. So first up, I have this. This is a little nighty outfit. It actually comes with a bra and panties for the doll. And then it has this little nighty outfit that goes over the top. I got four of these. So I got two in pink and I got two in purple. Get it Velcro back together. So I got two in pink and I got two in purple. I thought it was nice. And for me, I do, there's a lot of Barbie clothes that you get and they are not always good material. Like sometimes they are super, super see-through. So I do like to use sports bras or, you know, stuff like this underneath some of the outfits so that you have a little additional coverage. But I thought this was great for the price and it was super cute. I also... Got a couple of more dresses. So here is one of the dresses that I got. She's on my Miss Cleo Princess of the Nile doll. It is a strapless dress. And again, like I said, I do like to have the little stuff. Yes, as you see, she's got a little top on. But it was a strapless dress. It has this little um, embroidery in front with a little gem on it. It is a little bit like right below the knee. And I thought the look of it was super cute. It fits the doll really well. So I really liked that outfit that I got. And then there were a few things that I got for, I got a lot of clothes y'all. And then I got a lot of little miniatures, but then I got some miniatures for my dollhouse that I expected, I expected it to be okay. And it came in at like, so above expectations y'all of what I expected so the first thing I'm going to show you is the coffee pot now these do not make any lights or sounds or anything but they do look very realistic but you can take the pot out and the lid does open so I thought that was super cute and the coffee pot itself it has that little um, piece in that actually the drip spot for the coffee and that holds the kind of pot in place a little bit but I was super excited about the way this looked and all of the little functionality that it had to go with it I also got the rice cooker or crock pot either one that you want to use um, because I thought it was a crock pot 
but it has an opening lid it also has that little vent hole in it and it has a little space inside so if you wanted to put something again no lights or sounds but you do have the little dials that look like they light up um super impressed with this one and again this is a rice cooker or a crock pot but it also came with a little spoon but the spoon is further over there and i'm not gonna pull it out right now and then finally i got a blender and this was cute so you can take the top off of the the blender part away from it and then you can also take off the top of the blender so the functionality on these y'all was just like wow and why is this green and the other ones are white when i thought i ordered white and everything well i didn't i ordered this in green by mistake i did have to go and check because I think they were out of this blender in white. So um, I would recommend you always, you know, go back and take a look. Don't just take my word for it because they restock all of the time. And to tell the truth, I will probably eventually order me a green set of the rice cooker and the crock pot. And I will order me a white blender to go with the white set of um, kitchen stuff. So those I was above expectations of what I got in. They turned out to be super, really nice and much better than I expected. So I also got a couple of other things that I thought was really cute for the dollhouse and it has to do with the doll yard. So I got this weed eater and this little chainsaw. So a little bit of a disappointment with the chainsaw only because it came in broken so y'all see that is broken. It'll just take me a little touch of super glue to get that back on there um, attached, but it's, it's still, it works. It was super cute. I like the color and I think it's a good little size for what I intend to use it for, which is just a dollhouse miniature. And then I got this weed eater, which on the site said lawnmower. So if you're looking this up, put in lawnmower, um, lawnmower miniature, and it'll pop up. But this one is a little bit short. So I actually don't even have the pieces all the way in like they should go so that I can get just a little um, more length out of this one. But I thought that was cute to do for like a backyard scene because I have some ideas of scenes that I want to do in my curated dollhouse for the summer. And these little yard pieces, I think, are really going to make those scenes really nice. I also, y'all, got this lantern, and I wish I'd had this a few weeks ago when I did my full-on camping scene. This would have been perfect with it, and this lantern actually does work, so it does actually turn on, as y'all can see. I thought it was so cute, and I again, I wish I had this a few weeks ago when I did my camping scene, but definitely gives me... Um, and I, ability to redo that camping scene kind of with a different concept and be able to use this little lantern to go with it or just using it in another scene in the backyard or in a she shed or something to that effect. So as far as the miniatures that I got y'all, super impressed. They were definitely worth the money. I will put the prices in the description box because again, I'm using the phone and the, the prices are in the phone. But I said in the other video that I got like 65 items for $110 and y'all that was wrong. So I got 59 items total for $117 and that came out to be, I think, right about $2, you know, on average per item, which I don't think is bad. Not for the miniatures, not for items that I'm getting that look like this. This is really good quality. And I don't think I could get this for $2 anywhere else. If you order this on Etsy, it's, it's $10, $15 or more probably. But anyway, so I thought that was really good for um, the price. And then I got a couple of sets of clothes that I wanted to show y'all in this. So I got this business lady suit. It comes with these um, jet black business pants and then this cute little business shirt. It has a pattern on it. There you go, you can see the pattern. And then it has this little belt that is Velcroed in the back. The pants feel really nice. Like I have found that I've just kind of been feeling, you know, filling them because I like the feel of them. I can't even tell you what it is because like I'm not a fabric or store person, but they feel really nice. And these were pictured on an Integrity doll. So they'll probably be a bit long on my Barbie dolls, but oh, oh well, we'll make it work. 
And then this is another outfit that came in. So I said in the other video that I was really focusing on getting like stuff that came in with blue jeans. And that worked to my benefit, y'all. I did get a few more things that had blue jeans in it, but not as many as I expected. So like half of them came in with actual fabric-y blue jeans and half of them came in with the tights kind of blue jeans, which was not a disappointment because I know they do fit. And some of the ones that came in in the fabric, in the tights type blue jean were actually a different color. And you know what? Let me see if I have a pair of those close. Yes, I do. And I'll show you just real quick. So they weren't the light, light color. They were a darker color. And these are actually longer. They kind of fit like a boot cut instead of like a pedal pusher ankle lid or whatever. So even though I, I did get these and I kind of wanted more blue jean type material, I was quite impressed to get them in a different color and kind of a different fit. So that was fun. But I got these blue jean pants here and then this cute little crop top again shown on an integrity tall integrity toys doll i haven't tried them on my dolls yet because i just got all of this in and just kind of been picking and choosing what i've been looking at and what i was going to choose for the unboxing but super excited about this and this outfit actually did come with a cute pair of little ankle boots and a ring that or a bracelet maybe for a doll and then it also came with a cute little, I guess this is a lantern purse, but we're, we're going to use it for something. But this is all that it came with, but I was glad that it came with some shoes. And then one other outfit, because I told y'all camo is my favorite color. Now, this is not green camo. This is more urban -y camo, but it was like these fair, like, flared leg pants and then this little crop top to go with it. So I thought that was nice. And then I'm going to cover just a couple of the things that I got in miniature to show you for the idea. So first thing are these. I got these little donuts. They have little sprinkles on them. There are six in the pack. So there's brown, pink, yellow, purple, and two green. And then they have little cat ears and a bow on them. I thought it was super cute to do like a bakery or just a little food setting to have these. I got a 10 pack of boba teas. There you go. I got a 10 pack of boba teas that come in all different colors. You can see it has a straw and the little bobas in them. So I love it. I love being able to use um, stuff like this in my dollhouse. So everybody looks like they actually have a drink, but most of the glasses that I have are just basic empty. So I wanted more things that look like they actually had something in it that I didn't have to craft myself. And then I also found a pack of wine bottles. So they come like this and you get four. So you get a purple, blue, yellow, and like a brown. And they all have like the little hook at the top because they go for earrings or charms. But I thought they were super cute. And I also think these are a great scale for the doll house. Two other things that I'm going to show you is one, I got this little absolute vodka bottle. So you're just going to have to trust me that it says absolute because it is very hard to read on this see-through paper. But there you go. You can see it a little bit. But this came with a little absolute bottle, which I thought was cute. But what I really wanted, it came with these two little cocktail glasses and they have like a little fruit piece and ice in them. And the, I mean, as soon as I seen this, I fell in love with it. So it could have came with a water bottle or orange juice. And I still would have ordered these because I love these little glasses. And I like having the different size glasses in the dollhouse. But I thought these were adorable. And again, it came with that absolute bottle, which is super cute. And then I got a few more drink type things. So let me grab this so you can see. These are another kind of boba teas, but they have different colors at the bottom. So this is orange with a little orange straw and then it looks like a pineapple or a lemon. And then this looks to be banana with a little banana and a straw and the straw have little finger holes on them so the dog could hold it. I probably won't use it like that. I'll just use some putty. But y'all, I was so impressed with all of the items that I got. I will say a couple of the items that I ordered for me, there was like an outfit. I won't even say a couple. There was one thing that I ordered for me that was an outfit that was the only thing that came in that was kind of meh. 
like I had super high expectations for it when I seen it, or actually I had just basic expectations. Like I wonder what it's going to come in looking like. But then after seeing the miniatures and the doll clothes and kind of my expectation for it grew a little bit. And then when I got it in, it was kind of, it went down. It was mad. It's not awful. It just wasn't as exciting as the other stuff. And I also got a lot of costume jewelry and I was super impressed with that and the the price of it. So I'm not going to show y'all that. You will kind of see as I continue to go. I'm going to post some pictures on my Instagram of those items. But overall, y'all, I would recommend that if you're looking for dollhouse miniatures, dollhouse little accessories, doll clothes, like you could take a chance with Tim Yu and I think you would be satisfied with what you're finding there because I was satisfied. I think a lot of these little clothes are, I mean, they're super cute. They're super cute. And I've ordered stuff like this from Amazon before. And like I said, I've been kind of, sometimes the quality is okay. Sometimes it's not. But with these, I think everything is kind of sitting at what I said in the last video, that higher quality of basic that we are used to. So I think these work out, these worked out really good. And what else? I will come back to my favorite birthday gift for this year because y'all, I'm going to tell you. So I saw this doll. I started thinking about what I wanted to name him and I came up with three names. So I did not name him any of those three names and I will explain to you why. But his name is Leto. And I know you're thinking, Leto, why is this doll's name Leto? Because he was so cute. I really wanted to give him a name, a, a really cute, cute um, guy. And the three names that popped in my head was Johnny for Johnny Depp. I can't name him Johnny because my son's name is John and I have a mini me John in the house, in my doll house. So the other one was Ryan for Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Gosling. They hit there together. And then I was like, ugh, I can't name him Ryan because I have a Ryan doll in the doll house already. So then I was like, oh, I have the perfect name. Perfect name. We're going to name him Jared Leto. Yes, y'all should know who Jared Leto is. He was just in a movie, ugh, Morpheus, Morpheus. I don't know what the movie is. I'm going to mess it up. But he was just in a movie, um, Morpheus, I think it is. But anyway, and I was like, Jared Leto, this is going to be perfect. And then I thought about Jared. I kind of didn't like the name Jared. So I was like, we're going to name him Leto. I think that'd be perfect. So we are introducing him officially, no longer Fashionista 212. He is now Leto in the Curated Dollhouse. Thank y'all for coming and sitting with me for my birthday haul video and my pretty little birthday outfit. Yes, I always try to do something special on my birthday, but y'all, this one was over the cake. I got all of my dolls in. I got all of the items that I had ordered in, all in by my birthday, and it has been a super nice day. So thank y'all for visiting the dollhouse curator and I'm going to hush, but we will be back next week with a new video and a whole new concept. So thank y'all so much for visiting and y'all are welcome back anytime in the curated dollhouse. Bye.